My name is Shannon Hay, and this is my living benefit story. Kevin and I met when he was in chiropractic school. Literally, it was from day one. We fell in love, and we've been together every day since. We just enjoyed each other's company, and we were best friends. Uh, we have six kids, Chrislyn, Caitlin, Cameron, Shaylin, Caden, and Ashlyn, and we live on beautiful 12 acres in White County. My name is Don Rice. I'm from Canton, Georgia. I work with Synergy Financial Partners as a financial advisor. And what we do at Synergy Financial is we teach people how money works and also the power of living benefits. We originally met Don Rice. Uh, he was a patient at our chiropractic office, a portable chiropractor in Woodstock, Georgia. Kevin was a friend to all of his patients, so they quickly became friends. It just turned into where we would just, you know, help each other. Anytime I was in, in pain, he would help me, and anytime he was in financial pain, he would give me a call, in, and we just worked together from there. And you couldn't have known a better person. So Kevin's office, he ran by himself. He had no receptionist. He had no CA, chiropractic assistant, nobody. It was just him. People would come in, they sign in, they go to a table. When that table becomes available, the next person goes in. The practice grew so fast. We got to where we were seeing three or four or 500 patients a week. He was seeing about 100 people a day. With him really running everything, if something were to happen to him, his business would be gone. You know, as a small business owner, he didn't really have anything in place for himself as far as retirement. He was just building his business and planning on retiring that way. We went through all the benefits of the IUL, the loan provision, which allows you access to accumulated value. You have living benefits, um, and then you also have the death benefit that all of them would have at the end. Uh, little did we know at the time that we would actually be using all of these benefits within about a six-year period of time. We had coverage set up um, from a previous agent, and um, Don helped us modify our plan to help us better. That modification allowed us to be where we are today. Dr. Hay was 41 years old when we put this policy in place. Completely healthy, no issues whatsoever. The policy was put in place for tax-free retirement purposes. The first time he was able to utilize the benefits of his policy was when he was still healthy, and that was with the loan provision. He had accumulated enough money into his policy over the first few years that he was able to actually buy his office building. And that's one of the things that Shannon tells me all the time is she is so happy that she owns the building outright because it puts her in such a better position with, with the business and the practices it is now. Life can be very unpredictable, and in this case, that actually proved to be true. Uh, just a few years later, after we've put this policy in place, everything changed. We had a time in February when we thought he had food poison. He needed to go get checked out. And the doctor called us back and, and told us to meet in his office, and that's when they told us they found a tumor. Um, within just a few days, we found out it was cancer. He had colorectal cancer. I had went into his office that day and was just there to get adjusted and it came up he just mentioned to me that he had just been diagnosed that's where the living benefits really come in um, the fact that he had that critical illness rider and when he was diagnosed with cancer um, we were able to accelerate that death benefit and actually put over six hundred thousand dollars worth of living benefit in his hand uh, as peace of mind i asked him to stop working our main focus was him healing during that time we were able to hire a chiropractor to come in the office we were able to hire a receptionist to take over um, and handle our finances at the office at the time. We weren't used to paying two salaries and that money had to come from somewhere. And luckily, we were able to use the living benefits policy to do that. One of the big benefits of the living benefit was actually giving him peace of mind on how he used the money. We did a lot of research on natural cancer treatments. There were several alternative treatments that Without the living benefits policy, we never would have been able to afford. We had a dream always of having a big barn building for the kids to play in. We got the barn finished on September 2nd. So September 18th, um, sometime during the night that night, he woke up and talked to me for the last time. That conversation that night let me know that we were at the end. As soon as I got up the next morning on the 19th, I called the kids and I said, you need to come and you need to be prepared. I called Don and he came right away. As an agent, it's always hard um, when, you, when you lose a client, it, it really is. But this was even more so just because he was such a good friend of mine. He has six kids. 
Uh, so that that was huge, being able to walk in, uh, hand them that check, not just condolences. The family was able to receive over a million dollars worth of death benefit to continue his legacy into the future. It, it paid for their house. It paid for an entire farm, and they built a barn in their home and everything on that farm. Uh, so just seeing them every day there and knowing what he was able to put in place, that legacy he was able to build, um, it, it's a wonderful thing. Not every day is easy. Most days are hard. But we have a lot to be thankful for. We really have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, we were actually able to bury Kevin out here on the farm. Uh, we created our own graveyard cemetery, and um, we can see him anytime we want. It's just nice to have him close. The very best part of all this is that from this day forward, my kids are all taken care of. Um, their future is set. They have trust funds set up. They have life insurance policy set up with living benefits. Dr. Hayes' case really shows the versatility of the IUL as an asset class. Um, it was actually able to be what he needed to be when he needed it. Uh, while he was healthy, he was able to use the loan provisions in order to grow his business, as well as setting up a tax-free retirement plan for himself. Um, when he did get sick, he was able to use the living benefit portion um, in order to keep his business running and give him peace of mind to have cash in hand in order to uh, pay for medical expenses, things like that. And then when he did finally pass away, he was able to keep his business running for his family and also provide cash for the legacy to help move his family into the future. I personally have my own living benefits policy now. I have one on each of my children at this point. You just don't know what tomorrow brings. And in those times, it's just awesome to know if something were to happen, I could pick up the phone and call Don and he'd be there with a check. We have the honor of him being our friend outside of just being our agent. Just being there and able to serve them that way, uh, it, it makes what I do every day the best thing in the world.